सो गाइज द लीड क्वेश्चन दट वी आर सॉल्विंग टू डेज दिस मेजोरिटी एलिमेंट एंड फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन वी आर गोइंग टू सी थ्री डिफरेंट अप्रोचेस एंड ट्रस्ट मी द अप्रोचेस दट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन दिस क्वेश्चन आर गोइंग टू बी सुपर हेल्पफुल वेन वी विल बी सॉल्विंग अट सिमिलर टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन दट इज दिस मेजोरिटी एलिमेंट सेकंड ओके सो मेक श्योर टू वॉच इट टिल द एंड नाउ लेट्स सी वॉट द क्वेश्चन इज सेम सो वी आर गिवन एन एरिया ऑफ इंटीजर्स एंड आवर टास्क इज टू रिटर्न एन एलिमेंट दट इज द मेजोरिटी एलिमेंट मीन्स आवर टास्क इज टू रिटर्न एन एलिमेंट दट इज अपियरिंग मोर देन द फ्लोर ऑफ एन बाई टू टाइम्स For example, if we have this array and the length of this array is seven, so we need to return an element that is appearing more than three times, right? So in this case, we will be returning two. In this case, we will be returning three. Okay. So let's see how we can do this question. Coming on to the first approach, the first approach is going to be very simple, where we will be counting the frequency of every element one by one, right? Using two loops, and then we will check if any element's frequency is greater than n by two, then we will simply return that. And that's how we have done the same thing here in the code. We will be using two loops here. and we will be counting the frequency of every element one by one and then we are checking if the frequency of any element is greater than n by 2 then we are simply returning that very simple very basic and very inefficient solution and uh, the time complexity here is big of n square that is definitely not going to work for big inputs coming on to the second approach in the second approach we will be using a hash map to count and store the frequency of every element so what we will be doing we will be traversing the array and while traversing we will store the frequency of every element and we will check if at any point the frequency of any element becomes greater than n by 2 then we will simply return that and that's how we have done the same thing here in the code we are using a hash map here and we are traversing the array and while traversing we are storing the frequency of every element and then we are checking if at any point the frequency of any element becomes greater than n by 2 then we are simply returning that this is much better than the brute force approach but still it's not an optimized solution because here we are using a extra space 